one most important system is your structural system. Number two is your digestive system. Now you're probably a little familiar with that. There are seven parts to the digestive system. Each part needs to be functioning correctly. Each part can sabotage your health. And that is what happened with Lucinda. She came in to see me. GI pain, acid reflux, depression, mood swings, severe reactions to food. When she ate food, she had to have an inhaler and use it. Morbid obesity and out of control diabetes. Now this was her main problem, but I focused on her digestive system because that drives so many things and I'll show you why. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question. For your weight, which is more important? Your gut or your brain? What do you think? Yeah. All right, you guys are on top of it. Got, now here's, here's what we know. The two are connected by the vagus nerve. Signals are traveling up and down, each one telling the other thing what to do. And when we look at those signals, we find out that 10% of the signals go this way, 90% of the signals go this way. Your gut to a significant degree controls your brain. <clears throat> So what in the gut is sending those signals? Any guesses? All right, yes, yeah, now this, this is gonna really blow you away. We now know that those signals are sent by your gut microbiome, your gut bacteria. You've heard of the gut bacteria, right? They determine what you eat, when you eat, and how much you eat. Now, unfortunately, you can have good guys down there or you can have bad guys down there. The good guys produce vitamins, aid digestion, rebuild the protective layer so you don't get damaged, turn off hunger, that'd be a nice thing to have down there, decrease inflammation, inflammation drives most disease, and they signal the brain to make good food choices. That is, eat food that feeds them. And what do you think feeds these guys? Vegetables. What do the bad guys do? Just the opposite. They make you hungry, they turn on inflammation, and they signal the brain to make food choices that feed them. What do you think feeds these guys? Junk food, yes. The craving you'll get might be coming from these guys in your gut. So we've got to have more of these guys, but it's not easy these days in America. Duke University 2008 showed that if you use one of these things, you just killed off half your gut bacteria. Diet pop anyone? You have no good gut bacteria if you drink diet pop or any of the artificial sweeteners. It's not just those things, it's also antibiotics. I hope you haven't been on them recently. But let's say you were, how long does it take your gut bacteria to come back after one course of antibiotics? A week, a month, how about two years? In fact, in two years, you do not have the diversity of bacteria, the correct bacteria that you had before that. Uh, so number one, do not take antibiotics unless you absolutely have to, and number two, if you ever have to, start probiotics immediately. So how do we get that back in there, probiotics? There's also the fecal transplant. You know what that is? That is taking someone's poo and putting it in you. They still do this today. If you get some serious intestinal infection, C. dip, you may be getting a fecal transplant. It's effective and it's also powerful. Here's what they did. They took two mice and they put a fat person's poo in this guy and a thin person's poo in this guy. Now, is that alone enough to change your weight? What do you think? Is that alone enough? Yeah, this is a huge factor. In fact, I've been telling my patients for the last two years, you watch the health news, you're gonna see more on your gut bacteria than almost everything else out there because it's so powerful. And we do know this works in humans too. We've got a world-class marathon runner 
had to get a fecal transplant from her sister who was overweight, ended up gaining 30 pounds. Fortunately today, you don't have to have a fecal transplant to get the good stuff back there. There is a bacteria called B420. In a six month human study, here's what they found. Less hunger. How much less? They ate 300 less calories per day. No diet, no exercise, just take a probiotic pill. This is huge. Reduced waist circumference, reduced fat mass, and also, we're gonna talk about this later, improved gut health. It tightened the junctions between the cells in the intestine. Just remember that, we'll come back to it. So that's one of the things I use to fix people's health problem, getting the good bacteria back in there. In a short period of time, Lucinda and Monty lost 250 pounds, no longer needed her inhaler, her mood improved, everything went well, and decreased her insulin requirements as a type 1 diabetic by 60%. <clears throat> so let me review. We've got the structural system, gathered the food, your digestive system, ate it and broke it down, and now that food has to be delivered to the cells and that's where your delivery system comes in. Picks up food from the intestine and takes it to the cells in your body. 